Dr. Martin Luther King once stated, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. So I promise that from this day on, not another second of my time or my oxygen will be wasted. It is now dedicated to trying to get this world to awaken. Yes, this world has been shaken, but instead of focusing on the wrong that has been done, we must now make an improvement plan. All of the community really needs to, to be able to see this and really benefit and grow. When you talk about the opportunity to bring together um, all of the different um, cultures and all of the diversity of our community, this is really the answer here uh, to solve any problems that we might have. First, we must become more accepting of others. Just because they don't have the same religion or color, color does not believe does not mean we can't become sisters and brothers. Second, we must seek our own truth. There are some people who are Democrats, Republicans, Christians, or Muslims just because they were told it's the right thing to do. Third, we must all learn to stay in our own lane. If someone chooses to be gay instead of straight, atheist instead of Christian, it is not our place to make them change. You have to come to a realization that they are the captains of their souls and the masters of their fate. Fourth, <laughs> We must not leave a footprint, but a trail. I Meaning, do not gain the whole world and then lose your souls because if you do not water the soil of which you grew from, then the beautiful flowers such as yourselves will not continue to grow. So today I am not asking you to conform to any of my political, religious, or personal beliefs. I'm just asking that you investigate them. I got told, go back to where you came from, but do you know what I said? Please, you're telling me like you're from the streets too. My ancestors are Aztecs, come from Mexico, and places you wish you were from. Don't tell me to go back, because the only thing I can do is go forward. Continue, because a little rock ain't going to stop me. You got to try harder next time. I dance in the inside, not that RB or bachata. I got my own moves, because you do know that the original is always better than the copy. Sometimes I think of myself and see how much I have grown. I dress different, I talk different, but most importantly, I'm unique in the inside. Nature defines me as something that is out there, but for me, I'm just Miriam, fully Mexican, with a weird accent, but caring for my family. My dad, my mom, brothers, and annoying sister. <laughs> they all make up my life my true friends that stick with me till the end. Loving all of them because without them, there wouldn't be any me. No poem would be written. Poetry wouldn't be used to express these feelings because now I'm living life to the fullest because this is only the beginning. Bringing the peace voices to our community is really, really a great program. And being able to see our young people really have the opportunity to express themselves, to show their individuality, to show their pain, to show optimism, and their love for their family and for their community uh, was really inspiring. Congratulations to all 46 young people that participated. Every one of them had something very powerful to say, and uh, this has just been an awesome experience.